subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Do I keep coming back to the iPhone 8 Plus? Well, if you've been watching my channel for quite some time, you might have seen a video a while back where I made a video titled Why the iPhone 10 Made Me Love the 8 Plus. Well, I kind of wanted to give the iPhone 10 more of a shot most of the summer. I've been using the Apple iPhone 10 as my main, you know, daily iPhone when I'm using iPhone, but every night or every day pretty much I keep finding myself wanting to go back to the iPhone 8 Plus and here are the reasons why. Okay, so before I get on with reason number 1, do keep in mind that a lot of the things I'm going to say throughout this video are not going to apply to the future of iPhone. So if you like what I say in this video, you might want to get yourself an 8 Plus or a 7 Plus. Number one is the 16 by 9 display. Using the iPhone 10 for most of the summer, this display just feels very narrow. Even though it's larger, it feels rather cramped, which makes me very excited for the iPhone 10 Plus, which I think a lot of people are going to be excited for as well. But even though it goes all the way down to the bottom, there's no real bezels, it still feels smaller than the canvas of the iPhone 8 Plus. So the 8 Plus feels more like your standard 16 by 9 television, basically, on a little phone. They can go landscape here. You're going to be able to do this on the upgraded Plus version of the iPhone 10. But for now, this is the only iPhone you can do this on. And also, really, reading. So reading is a lot wider on this display so the eye naturally can just read more text a little bit easier well at least in my experience anyway and the iphone 8 plus has been my favorite iphone ever to read on due, just due to it being a very nice true tone display on here and it just has a great wide display easy on the eye at nighttime lcd so if you're looking for a fantastic reading experience the iphone 8 plus right now currently is it i think that the 10 plus will be great as well but for now this one has that standard 16 by 9 so it's a wider display on the topic of the 16 by 9 panel watching a youtube video also presents you with the actual video size so you don't have to do none of that pinch to zooming it's the full video the way it was meant to be viewed and i really like this aspect of the you know iphone 8 plus yes it has bigger bezels but you can get over that when you are watching your content and it's in the full size it just feels like a much bigger video watching experience so i think media heads actually will appreciate the 16 by 9 display more for just watching videos. Now there is the argument of OLED being better for content consumption, which I think in some cases, movies and things do look better on an OLED display, but you know, not having 16 by nine makes you have to do a lot of pinching on YouTube videos specifically. And some Netflix does do some letterboxing more so on the, you know, iPhone 10 than over here on the, you know, iPhone 8 Plus, and also you don't have the notch that cuts into some of your content as well. My next reason is the battery life. I keep coming back to this phone because time and time again, I find the iPhone 10 not getting nearly as far as the iPhone 8 Plus on the day to day. Both of these phones easily get through a full day, but it's like I, I finish with like 20 or 30% more every time with the iPhone 8 Plus, and that makes me more confident in taking this out on a long day. And we all know we don't want our battery dying, at least in this current era. We rely on our phones for pretty much everything, and the 8 Plus has been a better performer for me when it comes to batteries. So this is another reason why I keep coming back to this phone. But the main reason, and this is the biggest reason of all, I can get over some of those other things I said to enjoy the beautiful design of the iPhone 10. but there's one main reason. I even It's not even the notch. So if you were thinking it's the notch, it's not. It's the way that you get into this phone. It's a two-step process. You have to wait for the Face ID to recognize you and then swipe. This got old very fast. I got tired of waiting for two things to get into my phone. It's just amazing on phones like the OnePlus 6, for example, that you can just you know, unlock the screen and it goes boom, it goes right in. Or if you have like a, a Galaxy Note series device or a Galaxy S series device, you have the fingerprint on the rear or the face unlock on the front. This whole two-step process thing just got aggravating after a while. And the reason why it's easy to come back to the 8 Plus is because you can just pull this out with your finger and it just goes right in. So Touch ID is still a pretty nice feature even though you know it's going away and you're not gonna see it on most new iPhones. So that's it. That's why I keep coming back to the iPhone 8 Plus even though I have the option to use the iPhone 10 whenever I feel. And if you found a lot of these, you know, 
things I was saying in this video, like something you want on your phone, then it's a good idea to either pick up the 8 Plus later this year when it drops on a discount or get it now or even get an older generation iPhone 7 Plus. Most of that applies to the 7 Plus as well because you're not gonna see most of that coming back like a 16 by nine display, LCD tech, maybe on the you know 6.1 inch display, but you're not gonna get most of the benefits of a standard aspect ratio like on the 8 Plus anymore on future iPhones. But I am excited to see what Apple's going to bring with the iPhone 10 Plus. What are you guys excited to see? Are you excited to see the 6.1 inch display iPhone, just the second generation iPhone 10 or the 10 Plus? Get your feedback in down below because I'm gonna try to get all, all the iPhones that are coming this year on the channel and I like to know what you guys want to see. And if you found this one enjoyable, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you have an 8 Plus or a 7 Plus or a 6S Plus, share your thoughts. Is it getting old that you don't like the big design or do you like a lot of the things I mentioned 